So now that we have some manipulators that are working in our cockpit, I figured we should probably add some of these animations to these switches so that we can kind of see what's going on. And so let's uh, jump right into that. I'm going to start out by just throwing in a plane axis empty. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I forgot that these switches are still um, one one object. We're gonna have to separate those. Oops, I didn't need to hide my empty. So let's do that real quick. We'll go there, select all of them, and uh, then, oh, let me turn this screencast on so that helps. So we've got all of them selected. We're going to hit P by loose parts. So now we have individual switches. Grab our empty here. Bring it up here to our switches. Let's jump into uh, wireframe real quick. And I'm gonna say it's gonna rotate, oh, I don't know, right, right about there maybe. Okay, so now I want to select my switch, shift select my empty, and let's see what is a control P to set that parent. So now if I grab that empty, that switch follows it. Okay, so down here in our timeline, Actually, I'm going to see, we're only going to do rotation, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And I'm just going to click in a, a keyframe right there on our zero frame because I like things that way. Um, I will also give us a keyframe right there on number two. I'll jump to number three, and that's where we're going to rotate our switch. So now I'm going to rotate on the X. And we'll call it right about there. Give us a keyframe. I think that looks pretty good. So on our empty, we're gonna come over here to our uh, little object here. I'm gonna say empty, and then this is the battery switch. And then down here for add data ref. Oops, we don't need that many. One data ref here. And we'll hit our little search. Hey, look at that. I'd already been searching for battery. So cockpit two battery. You know, let's pull this out so we can read everything here. Battery on. And it's an integer with eight. So we will select that. Now we need to throw in. It'd be handy if it did this already, but we need to do our little brackets 
and uh, like that. So zero. Animation is a transformation. So at this position, that's going to be the battery switch is off, which should be zero. So we're just going to mark that as our keyframe. And then we'll jump to our next position here, and that should be the battery switch on, which should come as a one. And then we will mark that keyframe. So we've got zero and one for our rotations there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to select that empty and I'm going to duplicate it. Scoot it over to that one, duplicate it again. And if you watched the last video, I bet you can guess where I'm going with this. So there we go, we've got that all duplicated. Now we just need to come into each one of these and we're gonna change its name up here. And we're gonna change our data ref. Now we need Hopefully to, let's see if that uh, kept the parent. We want all of these that we made. We want to lose their parents. So let's see, clear the parents on all of those. So hopefully nothing moves. There we go. And now select our switch, shift select that. Control P to object. And now we're parented. And while I'm thinking about it, let's just do that for all of these. So that one to that one. This one to this one. Here to here. Okay, so each empty should affect its specific switch. Okay, so we should still have, there we go. So we all of them have their animation still. We just need to verify the correct data ref. So we're on the avionics, showing zero there and one there. Jump over to this one, which should be our nav. Here we go, nav lights on. I didn't look to see if that uh, showed that or not, but we'll throw that in. You can also use an asterisk um, if you just want it to apply to everything. Okay, and we've got zero and one. Let's see. Okay, so next we've got our strobe.
Now ideally we should be using cockpit too, um, not cockpit. Uh, so you've got, um, anyway, cockpit, so it says sim, cockpit, electrical, landing lights on. That's an old data ref, but if we come down here and we've got sim, cockpit 2, landing lights on, that's a newer one. So ideally you want to be using that uh, cockpit 2 every chance you get. fix this real quick just because Oh, and so here's a situation where there isn't a cockpit too, for some reason. I will have to look for that later, maybe. But so for that, I'll just leave it at the original for now. Uh, let's see. Did this one right? Yeah. Jump over here. So this is our pedo. Okay, so we've got our pedo heat and our last one here for fuel pump. Okay, so that should be all of our switches right there animated. And uh, so we can now jump back to, let's see, where am I? This tab here. So we're on. Uh, layer 3. Currently I've got it named as panel. Uh, I might change that. but um, And then I've set up... Um, I don't think it's recording my mouse, but hopefully you can see these bars that are kind of changing color as I hover over them. I've set up my textures um, as to what I'm going to create the actual texture for these is that's going to be its name and so it writes that into the object file and so that's handy to just do that you can try the auto detect textures thing but uh, that rarely works for me I found this method to be easier but anyway so let's uh, export this object uh, don't forget to save your file let's jump in to explain real quick and see how it works.
Okay, so we're loaded up and you can already see that we've got uh, this one here which was our pitot heat and it's in the off position. And look at that, if we click it, it, it switches to the on position. Now uh, we've got our fuel pump right here. And that one's moving as well. Our light switches. Let's see, we didn't... Oh, that's right, I added that uh, manipulator over here, but then I didn't change it, so it's still connected to our battery. There's our avionics switch and our battery switch. So anyway, there you see, we, uh, we now have some uh, functioning switches in our cockpit.